everyone and welcome back to another of my video here on my channel so actually today i'm going to be teaching you how to draft a princess cut very simple just the princess cut that dress that's what i'm going to be teaching you i'm, I'm going to be teaching you how to draft it you can draft it and keep it you can actually use it for children you can use it for adults if you don't want to sew something that you're going to be putting cup if you just want to insert beautiful princess cut on princess cut that on any of your your clothes you can make use of it it's very simple it's very fine that's what they use for most of all this already made that people buy all these talky wears so today i'm going to be teaching you how to draft it so you can draft it and keep you can use it for children's clothes you can use it for adult clothes you can use it so if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my video share my video if you actually like what i've done with this illustration please hit on the like button to let me know that you actually appreciate what i've done and if you have any suggestion criticism whatever just tell me let me know i'm open for all so thank you now let's get to the business of the day so, so i've imputed some of the the points i'm gonna be working with i imputed them into my my draft so the first one is the shoulder line I left half an inch but actually i'm not supposed to leave half an inch but because for beginners purpose this half an inch is actually what you're going to be using the same allowance for the shoulder so you know so the up the first line this is the chest line cl that's what i'm using to indicate is the chest line then the second one is the bust line that is the, the the this this part is the bust line this the first one the chest line the second one is the bust line which is also the bust span in breast cut we call it the breast point uh -huh. but in this we call it bust pan which is the bust line then the under bust which is here that is the down part then the waist which is here then the full length of my pattern so for the chest line the standard measurement for chest line is usually nine inches i've been working with nine and it has been working for me you can decide to to just measure from the shoulder point to the chest you can decide to measure so for me i work with nine and it is standard and it has been working so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be putting my my shoulder measurement the shoulder for this illustration is actually eight inches eight plus eight which is 16 the, as in the full shoulder is 16 inches so you divide when you divide it into two you have eight inches so the eight inches is like this you just put a, a dot like this i'm just going to put a dot here like this to indicate and then go to my chest line and put the same eight inches here so i will just take my rule and connect both lines together like this so the next thing i'm going to be doing now for the chest line i'm going to be doing my shoulder slant so i'm going to be dropping my shoulder with half an inch you can decide to make use of one inches one inch but me i work with half an inch it has been working for me so i don't have problem for this um uh, illustration actually I'll, i'm gonna be making use of uh, i actually want to do i don't want to do this you can see this is just a small round neck but i want to do a cane neck they also call it boat neck as in the one that is a little bit slanted like this so i'll just take my my tape like this and measure five inches if it's this normal regular neckline i'll make use of three inches but since it's a boat neck a canoe neck i'll make use of five so i just want you to know so from this neckline that i've indicated i'm going to slant my shoulder down i'll just slant it like this and just slant it like this so the next thing i'm gonna be doing now i'm gonna be imputing my dart into my princess cut so basic and standard uh, measurement you can decide to is usually eight so and when you divide eight into two you have four inches so you can if you if you don't want to make use of eight if you want to make use of nine for you can for a plus size person you can actually make use of nine but me most times like, since it's a princess cut that is simple without cup i'll make use of it and it has been working for me so i'll just take my tape like this and put down here eight inches when i divide into two i have four so i'll just put my dot here of four inch here here then on my bust line also i'll come here and put it here like this 
inches. Four inches. So I'm just going to rule a straight line down here. Now from the, the down point to my under bust point. I'll just rule it. You can see it. Just measure to double check. This is four inches. So I'll just rule a line to connect both of them together like this. Like this. Note that this bust line on you can choose to just ignore it because I'm going to be making the curve like this. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, the middle part of the the, the, the shoulder line, I'm going to I'm going to measure. Initially, I measured it was uh, nine inches. That's what we use. But after the shoulder slant, you now have it has reduced by half an inch. So you have now have uh, eight and half. So what's the midpoint of four eight and half? Is four. It's um uh, four. I don't know how to calculate it like that. So let me just fold to be sure. I'm not a good mathematician. So I'll just put it like this. So I have my tape. This is what four. It's not up to four and half. Four point whatever. So I'll just put it like this. After folding my tape, it has I have four point two five. So you can just put it like this. Four point two five. And just mark it so the next thing what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be connecting this 4.25 line i'm going to be bringing it down to this my under bust point now that's what i'm going to be doing i'll just make a curve you can decide to you can decide to to make use of your hands like this let's make a curve like this If you don't have French core, you don't have problem. Don't worry. You can imp always improvise. As you can see. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be imputing the dots, the waist dots on it. So I'll take my tape like this. From this um, waist point is it's actually waist um that, that i'm gonna be doing so i'll just take it like this this midpoint i'll take it i'll put it on one i'll take half an inch from this point and then another half an inch is actually one so i'll share into two half an inch here and then another half an inch here so now the full length you measure 1.5 then from the under bust also you measure another 1.5 so this is actually where i'm going to be stopping my dart so now i'll take my ruler like this So the next thing I'm gonna be doing now, I'll just take my my tape like this from this midpoint of this chest line. I'll measure one inch like this. This is one inch as you can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be drawing the the ankle. So from this point now, I'll just take half an inch like this. So I'll just connect it like this.
as you can see what i did i went in from this shoulder line half an inch i went in half an inch then from this point i measured one inch just to do the shoulder to do the armhole curve so now I'll take the full body measurement Like I said, the boss for this um, draft, I'm going to be making it of 36. So when I when you divide 36 into two, you have nine inches. Just place it like this on top of the chest line. Okay, sorry, I'll make use of 10 inches. So when you divide 10, when you divide 40 into 10, sorry, when you divide 40 into four, you have 10 inches. So I'll just mark it like this. This is 10 inches point here put it like this then for the for the waist measurement the waist measurement i'm gonna be using nine that's 36 so you divide 36 into four you have nine inches so this is nine inches then for the the, the full length that's the down part i'll be making use of 44 which is 11 So now I'm gonna be connecting my lines. So I'll come like this, like this, and then like this. So from my armhole like this, I just take it like this, and then come like this to my waist. And then from my waist like this, I just take it down. My mask is actually getting finished. I hope you are able to see it. It's not actually straight, so it's just like a little curve. So as you can see, this is it. For the neck, I was saying I was going to make use of the um I was going to to make um uh, a boat neck. So that was why I measured five inches initially. So from the five inches, this is the five inches. So I'll use two inches to drop it because I want it to be high. So I'll just make a curve here. Make use of my like I said initially if it's actually if you, you actually wanted a small neck like this, you make use of three. So that means what you be measure, what I'll be measure, I would have measured would be three inches like this. But I told you, I said I wanted the canoe neck, so I'm using five inches. So that is why. So now I'm done. So I'll cut out now. Just place my tape now, nice. I just opened it for you to see before I cut before I cut this other part out. So I'll put my scissors like this. As you can see this is it. It's very simple, very easy, very fine. If you don't want to make use of your your normal regular bust um bust here, this is a very fine fine uh, way to cut your blouse, your gowns, whatever. You can also use them to make children clothes, it's very nice. So for you to get the back, 
take my pattern paper like this. I'm actually not going to be cutting it. Just want to explain and place like this. Just place it like this on or not on your leftover fabric, and you leave two inches at the side for zipper allowance, and then you just cut out. Very simple and very easy. So this is it. As you can see, you have come to the end of this illustration. Was this illustration helpful to you? Did you actually like what I did? So if you do, please don't forget to like this video to actually let me know that you appreciate what I'm doing. Like this video, comment. You can just just comment. It doesn't take anything for you to just click the like bell on this video. Please do. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Like this video and click on the bell beside the subscribe button. That actually helps you to know anytime I make a new video, you see it, which I normally do every week. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.